up and I lost everything. So when it loads up, it's going to jump straight into the fight. Uh, actually, I take that back. I'm going to make it so... Let me pause this here. I'm going to quickly put the cutscene you missed in. The only thing you missed was me walking down the stairs um, and out of a door. And then this cutscene plays. So I'll see you guys after this cutscene is over with. Alright, see you in a minute, tricksters. <laughs> She's bit! Keep back! Hey, don't point that fucking thing at hey, me! Hey, 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 hey! Abby tried to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. You won't miss it. She's probably already dead. Come on! I can't let you leave. I'm not doing this. I'm 
going to fight you. Yes, she will. He's not a part of this. You made him a part of this. Alright Tricksters, so yeah, as you see, we um, let the prisoners out, Abby, they told us Abby was put to the pillars, and then we released Abby. So from now this is going to be jumping into the actual gameplay. Oh, sorry about the inconvenience, but this shit happens. Whatever, let's go. I do think... With um, Abby being starved and malnourished, and look how super thin she is. I think this is the only way a Ellie would have any chance of a head to head. Because just think for a second if she was big buff tank mountain fucking Abby versus little petite Ellie, she'd just fucking rip her in half. Yeah, she's literally just thrown her about. And she just hit her straight in the stomach where she's arting. Let's go. Fuck me. You guys sound like fucking angry gorillas in heat. Yeah, and that move she just did then is actually one of her, um, Abby's finishing takedown moves where she punches them in the throat and it normally kills people. So that goes to show how much weakened she is at the moment. She normally does that move to kill people. But Ellie's just took two straight in a row and fucking still standing. This is for Joel. My fucking fingers, man. What the hell? This is the end for you. Sayonara. You little shit. What? Wouldn't thinking of wouldn't thinking of Joel make you want to do it more? So you I am so fucking lost. I don't even know what to fucking say. 
there is literally an inkling of me seeing those cutscenes where fucking Abby was just basically surrendered after everything. She must have gone through some shit and didn't have the energy to fight or whatever. But now imagine if the scenario was different. Abby didn't get captured and Ellie went after Abby. Do you really think Abby would have held back for a second on fighting her? Oh, and my fingers are fucking gone. They're my guitar fingers as well. I don't even know what to fucking think of that. Oh. I need a process. God, Dina's gonna be pissed at you. No, the house is empty. What the actual fuck? Oh my fucking... What is the fucking point of this ending, man? She didn't get a revenge, whatever. She could have fucking gone home. She could have fucking at least lived a fucking happy life. She's gone fucking home and it's all fucking empty. She didn't even leave a bed sheet for the fucking... Well, okay, there's bed sheets on the bed, but... There's fucking... And fuck all else here, though. She left us some bed sheets. Whip the fucking do. Oh, and the fucking record they were fucking leave listening to Oh, fuck me. My control seizure in. I'm struggling with this. Not bad for two fingered guitar player. I'm fucking playing it like I've got two fingers. She even fucking lost her ability to play the guitar. Is that is that it? That's the end of the game, is it? Did you get that? Uh, must be 
people that came through last week. A little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it. I'm back. God, I miss you, Joel. I had Seth under control. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. One kiss, it doesn't mean anything. She just... You know, she just... You do like her. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. So you're gonna use... Oh, fuck. Second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. Oh, my God, my fucking heart is breaking. Don't cry, Joel, please. see you around and he fucking dies the next fucking day before she even got a chance to forgive him for anything oh. do you know what I almost felt a little bit bad for Abby come the ending compared to for what she had been through in the since the Seattle thing Whatever she had went through in Santa Barbara. I almost felt bad for her. But then them playing that. That cutscene there with Joel. And then me knowing that is the night before Joel dies. And that he never gets that shot at forgiveness with Ellie. It's just brought all my inner rage back out again about that. Like, I'm literally, I'm not even kidding, in fucking tears. Holy fucking shit.
I take it her leaving his guitar there is a symbolization that she finally was able to forgive him for it. But I don't understand how that works. He did nothing to earn that said forgiveness, he just died. Maybe it just means she came to peace with his death? I don't know. But... <laughs> He didn't get a chance for redemption. He didn't get a chance to redeem himself in her eyes. I want to quit to the main menu where it's a bit quieter. Oh, look, now we're at Santa Barbara. New game plus. I just got a trophy set of what I had to do. So, basically, I'm going to give... I'll use the last couple of minutes I've got on this video to give some thoughts about the game. Right. The gameplay? Beautiful. The mechanics? The same as the first one with the added option to lay prone and all that lot and craft on the go kind of thing when you're prone. It, it was cool. I liked it. I really enjoyed it. I liked Abby's story involving Lev and Yara. I really enjoyed that part. I just hated the fact I was forced to play as Abby through it. I think there's... I think Joel should have died in this game, but not when he did and how he did. If that makes sense. I would expect... For a game as that was emotional as The Last of Us, the first one, for something bad to happen to someone we loved. I would have expected that. I, I would have been completely fine with that. I would, it just had to happen the right way, in a tasteful way. I think... I think it, it was... It was stupid. Like, I've, I've seen... Um, I've seen the developer comment on why he thinks, uh, why he doesn't think that it was a bit stupid how Joel ended up getting into that ambush with Abby, and he even went as far to say as it wasn't an ambush, um, because he's had four years of peace where he's just been doing everything he can to help people and trust people and all this. Yeah, fair enough, whatever. Um, say what you want about that part, but I'll give you one example for. The bit where he should have started getting alert, but he does fuck all, is the bit when they start giving him a funny look. You know, you thought he would have get a bit defensive, prepared himself, maybe reached for his gun, grabbed something, something. He wouldn't have just stand there like a muppet, put his arms to the side and go, Ah, oh, you're going on like you've heard of me or something. He could see that the mention of his name made them very uncomfortable. Joe has never been a stupid character. Ever. There was a bit in the first game where he could spot an ambush a mile away. Like, he could tell if people are not friendly. I'm, I did like... I On the whole, I did like this game. I just think they need to really think about how they laid that story out. Because I think that's what everybody is in uproar about. It's just... Oh, it's hard to collect my thoughts at the moment but I, I have so much to say but I'll save that for another video another time um, I'll give a full on in-depth review the ending I would have been happy with Ellie letting Abby go um, other than the fact that now she's lost everything what has she got fucking left like she didn't even get her revenge she didn't get her revenge, and that's the whole premise of this game that I've been playing for like 20 odd hours. Was her setting out for revenge. Well, that was half of the premise. The other half of it was escorting Lev around. And I, like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed that bit. I just... I just wish that it, we had a chance to actually bond with Abby. Because I found it hard to sympathise with her, and as you guys can tell by watching me play it, I was finding it very very difficult to even get into it because in my mind all I'm thinking is this is the bitch who's just took everything I was hoping for in this game away but it's just the story that's my only issue the story I think there's things that could have been done better with it on the whole I liked the game I did like the game I really enjoyed it but 
I think story just got swapped out for shock value and it's just it hurts we've been waiting a long time for this game and it was kind of a slap in the face but it had potential so much potential like I still like the concept of what they were aiming for but they just executed it poorly anyway I'll get more into depth whenever I go to make my little rant video and I'll write down my thoughts and actually have a coherent string of sentences instead of just trying to speak from the top of my head because I'm not very good at that normally. Anyway, this has been The Last of Us Part 2. Thank you guys for joining me on this journey, as shit as it was sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for the support. Thank you for sticking with the playthrough for those of you who have watched it from the beginning and those to you who in the future may be watching this through. Thank you for watching. I'm your boy Tricky and I'm going to head out now. I've got nothing fancy to say. You just take it easy guys. I'll see you in the next video. And I just want to go somewhere where I could just stay inside where I could just lose my mind where I could just go unwind A scotch on the rocks It slows my thoughts And slows down time